So a couple things I forgot to mention yesterday. Um, this this first thing's part of the last video is it's good to not think of it as practice. Think of it as I'm gonna get better, cause this goes for anything in life too. Like practice sounds like it sucks, but saying oh I'm gonna get better right now, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Same with like like working out. It's like oh man like I don't want to work out right now. That sounds like it sucks. But if you say I'm gonna get stronger right now, then it's like, all right, I'll, I'll do it. And then it just powers yourself to get through it. It's like a little mental trick you can play. Uh, and then the other thing, this has to do with the chord chemistry. I forgot to put it in the video. So for your non-inverted shapes, um, for all your shapes, but I'm just gonna give you the example with a non-inverted major shape. So we got my B non-inverted on the E, A, and the D strings, right? If you move this chord up a fourth, which would be to just keep the same shape, drop it down to a set of strings. So I have the same shape with my fingers, but I'm on the A, D, and the G strings. Right, it's the same shape. Move it up another fourth, and you got this shape. And then move it up another fourth, and you got this one. So it's just, it's cool to see that, or at least I thought it was cool. <laughs> uh, it, these, it's all the same shape. This one, this one, this one. And this one so like don't think of it as separate separate entities it's all the same thing it's just that B string messes up your uh, your shapes so it's just cool I want to notice that it was like oh like I know that they're all the non-inverted shape but uh it really is the same thing it's just that B string kind of screws up the actual shape of it um, so yeah now here's the other video the that I follow did up to my chord chemistry videos so I got through the five and the um, I figured I'm not gonna post the, the diagrams anymore because well one I can't even get the videos on my computer anymore man like it it and that's where I add the diagrams because um I don't know if it's my cord or my computer that like it just disconnects and reconnects my phone like over and over and over which is super annoying it's probably not good for my phone um so so, if you understand the concept, you should be you'll you'll you can you can figure out where they all go, um, and you'll probably learn it better that way too. So, <laughs> on to um, on to uh, yeah, this is what I was going to talk about. So, I had that practice practice routine where I posted the uh, you know the random.org thing, and again I was saying like so I'll hit my let's say D first inversion, and then I'll rip around it. And then hit my other chords or whatever. Um, now I, I do it this way, where so let's say let me just go on my computer real quick. So check this out. Um, let's say I had okay. Let's say I had. I gotta turn this shit so I can see what's going on here. Let's say I got a second inversion, uh, and it's four. Okay, it's 5 o'clock p.m. Exactly on the dot. So I've got this, this little thing I made, where it's got like, so it's A second inverse, so we're gonna go to the major chart. And since it was 5 o'clock, I'm gonna go with a 9 slash 0 progression. Um, each of these just have every chord. But we're going to the 9 slash 0 because 5 o'clock ends in a 0. If it was 501, I'd go to this one. If it was 506, I'd go to the 5-6. Um, so I got a one, three, six, two, four, five on uh, A's second inversion, A major second inversion, right? So that's one, three, six, two, four, five, A's the second inversion. Um, I was doing it up here, uh, or I was doing it on, on this string set today, so I'll just keep it going. So you can do it, it's kind of like a couple levels to it. Um, First of all, try not to look. Uh, it'll just, you'll get better faster. Um, that's something that I just started working on pretty recently, but. So it's one, three, six, two, four, five. So you got one, three, well. Three, six, two, four, five. Oop, and I fucked up, so I, I don't, I don't. That doesn't count, I have to do it again. Um, and the important thing is, like, so you got to get through the progression. This just saves time, man, because if you if you do the riff thing, like, I spent like two and a half hours on that, because I, I could just get totally lost, like, doing a riff for 
realize it's 20 minutes later and I'm still like on the same chord. So this is just speeds it up, up the whole process a lot. You'll finish it in an hour-ish maybe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> depends depends how, how strict you are with yourself on this. Um, it's good to be strict though, because you're only cheating yourself if you uh, cheat on this. Um, so you got my one. It's, here's the thing though, you gotta try to mute the other string. So say I was going one, three, and then six. Oh, another string rung out. I lose. I gotta do it again. So you gotta do it until you get it perfect. No strings ringing out. So that's, that's one thing you can do. Um, and then the next level would be to kind of go like this. I'm just gonna do the same one. One, it was like. What? You can just do a little like, make the picking pattern a little bit more difficult. Same rules apply. If you if you hit a uh, string you're not supposed to, you lose, uh, you gotta redo it. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously you can modify this your own way, however you want, but. That's, this, this is the rules I'm playing by. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, so that's that's the next level is to do that. You know, kind of get a little picking pattern going um, just to make it a little harder. And then you can go like move string sets, which I haven't even gotten here yet, but you can go with one. How would I do this one? I should probably go. Six. It's a two. Oh, that'd be uh. I got, I gotta get there. I'm not even there yet. But that'd be the next level, I think. Um, and then adding the seven. Um. And then adding, like, more string sets. Cause right now I just did, I just did all the adjacent string sets. So I did, you know, this, these three, these three, these three, and these three. What about like the E, G, and the B? I could add those chords. So I got more string sets to add. Um, so yeah, that's that's gonna be the next levels. And then once I'm once I get all those and I'm I feel really confident that I'm like I've done enough work on all those uh, and I've added the seven, and then I'll start getting to the next chapter in the book, which is like how chords lead it, lead into each other. Um, which I think is going to be really cool once once I get there, but uh, one step at a time. Um, also, I talked about this in the last video, which I recorded like five minutes ago, but I posted it yesterday, which is today. Um, <laughs> the minor four and the minor three. So let's say, or minor four, major three. So let's say, I'll say I'm in G. Go one, six, four, minor four. One, six, four. You know your uh, like each each shape kind of has a. You only have to move one fret on one string um, for every every one of the shapes. So like let's say let's say this is your 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 four right here. Right, we'll do it with the D shape for four. All you have to do is drop three down one fret. Um, so you know, if we add this this major shape, this is the E E major. Like if it was the E major bar chord, the top three strings on that. Just dropping that one string. Um, you know, we'll even we'll go uh, on these strings. So I have my C-shaped chord, but I'm rooting it on an F-sharp. Just drop that three, one fret. Or... So that's cool. Um, it's it's cool if you if you know where your uh, which of your three strings contains your three, and then you can just drop that one fret, and there's your minor four. Um, and then the major third or major three, not major third, the major three chord. The same idea applies. So let's say we got a. Uh, I, I talked about this progression yesterday. Go six, two, one, to major three, which would be instead of the, instead of the three, 
uh, you know, put the major third in there. And then back at six. So that's just a cool little extra, I don't know, I thought of those things, I just wanted to um, update you guys. Uh, so that's that. Uh, further updates will be coming in the future.